Hello, welcome back, Math 307. And as we said, we finished chapter 1, and I already sent you some of the notes for chapter 2. In this lecture, I will explain what's in the notes, and I will try to reduce my work by just writing the main things in our notes. So, the chapter 2 will start from Lee group method. So, transformation a group, you have it in your notes, and the first section will be one parameter. groups okay in the notes I define the invertible transformation there if you remember by TA which is X bar equal a function of X Y and the parameter A okay and also there is Y bar which is another function of G of X, Y, and A. And I call this is 1.1. .1. Okay? Now, these function F and G satisfy some condition that F of X, Y at A equal to 0 we can write like that also, notation, a equal to 0, equal to x. The same for the g function, the g function of x, y, 0, equal, the same for g, at a equal to 0 equal to y and this is I gave it there 1.2 I think now uh, <clears throat> now there is another transformation which is t naught it's called the same t naught because at a 0 is called t naught f of x y and 0 equal to x, you can write it thus, this way, and g of x, y, 0, you can call it y. Now, where f and g are functionally independent, means that the Jacobian, Jacobian, we need this because this is a transformation, the determinant, f partial x, f partial y, g x, g partial y, must be not equal to zero to exist this transformation. And now, in definition when you have it in the notes, I define a g, a set g of transformation of 1.11 1 parameter group. They called it one parameter group, as I mentioned it in the title here. There is I naught, which is the identity, and there is the inverse, TA inverse, I give it in the notes, and also there is a community, uh, uh, the closure law must be there, okay? So this is the transformation. After that, this is just a small thing we need to think about it, and we keep it in mind. We take the infinite small transformation, number two, infinite, Small transformation okay uh, of course f and g can be expressed in two Taylor series near the a equal to zero so we use Taylor series in the near air a equal to zero, and this transformation will be expressed in another way, x bar itself, you have it in your note, approximate your x plus a Greek notation uh, zeta of x, y, this is our transformation A, and the same for y bar, approximate to 
y plus eta of x and y multiply by a and I call this 2.1 there okay where let's define what zeta and eta zeta of x y is the partial derivative of f by partial a this time at x y a evaluated at a equal to zero and same for eta of x y will be the same partial g by partial a x y a evaluated at a equal to zero and I call this 2.2 2 there uh, zeta and eta this is a vector with component given by 2.2 2, and you can evaluate them by 2.2 2. this vector is called zeta and eta okay vector they called it is called tangent vector field of the group because as I said it represents a group the group G of the one parameter A now I will give some ex an example to explain the situation and we shall find zeta and eta and we find 2.1 and then there is something we can define about this uh, uh, tangent vector field for our group with one parameter. Let's say I give the example. The group of rotation, they called it, the group of rotations. Defined by what the group of rotation? X bar equal X cosine A plus Y sine A. And as we said, X bar is just F. In our definition and y bar equal y cosine a minus x sine a so it's given these two x bar and y bar which is f and g at x y and the parameter a so this is the represent a group and they called it a group of rotation because you have cosine and sine it's a rotate and that how we find f we use to find f by using a zeta and we find, already f we have it we need to find zeta and eta which is given by 2.2 2. so you need to do, so zeta zeta of x y equal partial f by partial a let's say i put it this in this way like that evaluated at x y and a zero this is your zeta and eta of x y will be partial f uh, partial g sorry by partial a and you have g here evaluated at a of zero let's find these derivatives so partial f by partial a you differentiate f with respect to a so it will be a minus x sine a plus y cosine a and partial g by partial a equal uh, minus y sine a 
minus x cosine a. So you take the derivative with respect to a. Now we can evaluate zeta of x, y is just, you need to put in uh, your partial f by partial a, you put a zero, so sine zero zeros, cosine zero equal one, so you will get y, and the same for eta of x, y, when you put a zero, you get minus x. Okay? So that now we are talking about infinitesimal transformation, which is given by 2.1 in our lecture notes. 2.1, x bar and x bar, which is approximate x plus zeta a and y bar approximate to y plus eta multiplied by a. So if you evaluate these, what we shall get? We get x bar approximate, and you substitute for zeta already, we calculated above. So it will be x plus y a, and y bar will be approximate to y minus x a. And uh, if we return to the 2.2, uh, this is the tangent vector field, as we said, 2.2. Uh, sometimes we can write as a first order differential operator. Let's define first order differential operator X capital, which is the most important in this course. It's an operator zeta of X, Y, d by dx let's say uh, d by dx plus zeta of xy d by dy and let's call this is 2.3 this is very important this is they call it symmetry of the group or generator of the group, the symmetry or the generator of the group. Uh, <clears throat> and for this, uh, our example, for our example, we can write x as, we substitute for zeta and eta, it will be y, d by dx minus x d by dy uh, <clears throat> and this is the 2.3 the 2.3 if we return back we call the 2.3 here so 2.3 is given by this is the same 2.3 here okay but uh, the more this is the 2.3 as as and 2.3. Uh, 2.3, as I said to you, 2.3 is called the generator of the group. Of the group G. of the transformation one point one also uh, so so we go to the generator or the symmetry or the symmetry of the group. of g. So this is what we define here in the infinite C model. It's very important 2.3 is the generator of the group because we can collate from this generator the same of the 
the this group, what's the kind of this group, and 